Yo, what's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a character or an object appear to come out of the screen, just like you see here. Uh, this is not very hard to do, so it's not going to take very long. Um, and let's get to it. The first and the most important part to this effect is making sure that the character or the object that you choose is already moving towards the screen, like you can see with this clip I've chosen here. Once you have your clip ready, you can twixture it, flow frame it, whatever you want to do. You can do all of that first, and then we will create the effect. So once you have your clip ready, we're going to add a black solid layer. So we're going to come up here to layer, new, solid, and then we're going to make sure the color is black, and then hit OK. Now we're going to come over to effects and presets and search CC Jaws. So you see that there, drag it onto the black solid layer. Now I'm just going to show you a little transition into the clip that you want the black bars to appear on um, you don't have to do the same but it will it'll work out the same in the end so if you're doing it this way you're going to make go five frames over the first clip and cut the, the black solid click on the solid layer and then keyframe the completion here at the start five frames in from the clip and then just make this 100 percent and then come over here to height and make that zero. Now hit U on the solid and you'll see that the key markers appear here. Now we're going to go five frames in from the, the clip that you want the black bars to appear. So two, three, four, five. We're going to go here to completion, keyframe it again here. And we're gonna make this about 65. So you'll see that the black bars appear like this. So it's up to you how much or how little you want the completion to be. So if you just play around with the percentage here, you'll see it goes more or less. I usually find about 60 to 70% is the nicest amount though. Um, okay, so once you're happy with that, we're going to get to the masking. So if you're using a flow framed clip, just remember you have to go into the composition or the pre-comp, double click on your clip. Come over, come over to composition, composition settings, and change the frame rate to match your composition's frame rate, so 29.97. So that's only if you're using flow frame clips because it changes the, the frame rate. Um, everyone else, just continue following along. So once we've got that, we're going to duplicate our clip that we're going to mask. And we're going to, before we mask, we're going to eye out the black bars so we can just see roughly Again, eye it out where it covers the sword or whatever part of the object that you want to be sticking out of the screen. Um, you can also add a proportional grid. If it just makes it a little bit easy, you can see that it sort of follows the first line there. Um, but it's just, it, we'll fix it up after. So once you have a rough idea, we're going to drag the duplicated clip over the black solid. We're going to change our preview quality into full. Come up here to the Roto Brush tool, click on that and then double click onto the clip. And from here, we're just gonna draw. So hold click, draw a line across where we think that the bars were, and then just down and color in whatever object you have. The more you do here, the easier it is for the Roto Brush tool to, to pick up what you want, okay? Then once you let go of the click, if it does something like this, you're just gonna hold Alt and then click along, draw a line, it should be a red line, and then you see that will cut off the rest and then you see little bits sticking out again hold alt draw along and just fix it up um don't go too much here because we'll just we'll click back on the composition and check what it looks like so we'll see it's already got that appearance that is coming out of the screen but you'll see little rough edges like this you can just you can take some more time to fix that up again hold alt and just do little adjustments now um, to make it as nice as you are looking for um, also, just come over here to Feather and make this on about 40. And that will smoothen the edges just by doing that as well. And that's about it. The last thing you can do is turn on um, Motion Blur and enable Motion Blur on the black solid. Um, and you will be finished. So thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what tutorials you want to see next. Um, and please leave a like, leave a comment, give me some feedback. I appreciate it.